You know Larry has hit a nerve when the attacks hit hard. Hello and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe to help conservative voices be heard. A number of negative stories have hit the presses this weekend, and as a woman and a mom to a daughter, I am still squarely in support of Larry Elder. If anything, the left's attack, attacks on the facts that several Republican candidates have immediately piled on, calling for Larry to get out of the race, I am even more staunchly in support. Larry has been on radio for 30 years and has written columns for at least that long. Is everything he's written gold? Probably not. Do I agree with everything he's ever said? Again, probably not. But I guarantee you there is not a single person alive or in history that you would not find some fault with. The fact of the matter is, Jesus was and continues to be criticized for his statements too, even by some of his closest followers. And of course, Larry Elder is not the second coming. But he is a very smart man with the best grasp of what our state faces and what needs to happen in order for it to turn around. And the Democrats are terrified. They can no longer be in denial that Newsom can lose this recall election. So now they are writing fantasy op-ed pieces talking about how electing Elder will result in Newsom's return in 2022. See the link in the description below. The LA Times is conceding a Newsom loss on September 14th but it's aiming to instill fear that electing Elder will lead to gridlock and a return to Newsom the following year in 2022. But did you know that a veto has not been overridden in California in over 40 years? Not even during Arnold Schwarzenegger's time in office were his vetoes overridden. The reason why is that the most nutty bills are passed quickly and without much fanfare. When a governor casts a veto, the light is finally shown upon the reasons, and the public then puts pressure on the legislators to, hold, to back down and to, to renege. Since 1979, that is what has happened. Other tools that Larry Elder can use is a line-item veto. He can appoint people to commissions that have been granted a lot of power in California. He can declare state emergencies, which would grant him temporary but significant powers to get things done. Considering that there would only be about 14 months until the next election, temporary is all he'd need to use his bully pulpit to help get more conservatives into office next November. I was hoping for a debate between Larry and Meet Kevin, but given that the media will only want to talk about scandals and not solutions, I wouldn't be surprised if Elder stays the course with the online press conferences he's been holding. See below for links to the first two. Well, God bless California. Keep praying and don't forget to vote for Larry Elder by September 14th. We'll see you next time.